Alan Furstenberg, how was your Google Plus week? It was I don't know, it was a, a rough week in some ways. I was incredibly busy for most of the week, so I didn't get as nearly as much time to do as I wanted to. Um, and this weekend, I'm going to be turning off all my computers. I'm turning off all my computers. I'm turning my cell phone off. Um, basically, I'm going into to quiet mode uh, starting at sundown on Friday, which is why we are recording this ahead of time. Um, and that's so I can kind of reflect and, and think about how the year past has been and how the year ahead is. And I wrote a post on this earlier today as well. Um, is it like a Ramadan thing where at 1 a.m. you're going to sneak on for a few minutes and then, <laughs> then the next morning you behave? No, like no, no. This is, this is Yom Kippur. It's a, it's a day of fasting um, and it's celebrated from sundown to sundown. And as part of that, I have traditionally turned off all my electronics. I kind of separate myself from, from my usual routine, and that gives me the opportunity to, to sit and reflect and think and kind of think about, you know, how I could be better and how I've been over the past year. And one of the things I said in my post, actually, was I'm harsh a lot of times. I come across as a huge critic of Google. Really? And I know it happens on occasion. Um, you really tell the company line normally on the show. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm in their back pocket, but I think you know part of you know, and and I come across as very gruff, and I come across as this rage against the machine type guy, and that's not really it. I think part of it is that I see so much potential, and I want to help Google achieve that potential. And some of the ways I do that is by working in their environment. Some of the ways I do that is by being a tester for them. Some of the ways I do that is by being a glass explorer, um, being a, a GDE, and I'm thrilled and honored to be all of those things. Um, and some of the way I do that is by sending feedback. And some of my feedback can get a little harsh. So I don't know, uh, the upcoming year, I think you'll still see me doing a lot of ranting, but hopefully it won't be as harsh as I've been. OK, so let me ask you about the, the super Sabbath that is Yom Kippur. Um, are you literally? You can't. I mean, you say fast. Does that mean? I mean, can you have water? I mean, what? No, no eating or drinking for twenty four hours. Really? So do you go to? I mean, do you like? Will there be a bunch of Jews at Golden Corral at eleven p.m.? I mean, you know, getting ready. Uh, you know, drinking Tradici drink with, a, with a gallon of water next to them and eating as much as they possibly can. How do you go a, a day without any water? Or Traditionally, the night before you do have a, a feast, and. Um, Afterwards, I would think this would not a, a be a way to, to get a more calm and collective um, Alan by, you know, putting you on low blood sugar. <laughs> it's never been the low blood sugar that's caused me I to I can see to, you. To, to like, rage. don't go to Costco. <laughs> don't go to Costco at noon, you know, because uh, you will you, you'll not be. But I guess you can do it every year. So um, what's it like? I mean, on the 23rd hour, I guess you're like pacing back and forth in front of you know, the, the smorgasbord, you know, the, no. the buffets that hose down the table after you eat? No, usually you're you're busy thinking about other things. So you're you're focused on other things. Usually it, it does not go all that difficult, and I hope it does not. And for anybody out there who, who is fasting or is about to fast, I wish you all an easy fast. I remember um, there's been a few times, because I'm in a rural area, so we have power outages. And when that happens, you know, I remember one time I... I from my phone, I was posting pictures of, you know, I'm cooking on my kerosene heater and I hope I don't die from the fumes or whatever. And um, I was reading Kindle books and uh, had candles going and stuff. And, and you do suddenly realize the amount of time that you uh, voluntarily give up in this social media experience that we so adore. But the you realize it, it, you get to a more simpler place in your life when you turn that off and yeah. you realize well, how many more hours in the day you have. One of the things that I've, I'm very fortunate about when I first started getting into what we now call social media, um, I learned very early how to turn off the computer and how to step away from it, you know, and, and how to interact in the real world and not to let this, the, the social online world interfere with my, my social real world and how to get the two to work together. So I'm fortunate in that respect. And glass is, is the next step in, in me doing that, I think. But every so often, I like to just turn everything off and give myself a totally different perspective. 
it's interesting that earlier in another segment you said you know there it's a give and take or pros and cons um in different things and social media is is so powerful in that like great folks who are our friends now like george cozy in the netherlands uh moritz uh in in originally in germany and now in ireland now working for google uh we, we've met vic and and all these dory and these great folks we never would have met otherwise you and i would not have met but for google plus um and so it's uh that's the positive side the negative side is that it's such a time sucking hole that sometimes you you do suffer in the actual human contacts that are so important because after all we're mammals and and humans well, and, are a social and think, creature and i think it's important you know and i think it's important shaking hands and hugging and you know what i mean i think it's important and i think it's important with all of our technology that we use technology to improve those sorts of things and not to just make it another part of the digital wasteland um and to facebook's credit and i will do give them credit where credit's due they've tried to do some of that and to google's credit they've tried doing some of that um and i think it's it's up to us as as people to take advantage of the tools and to use them well and we thank you for sharing your google plus week on google plus week